YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I have a little bit of an unboxing for you, and that is of the Royal Crest 16 function slimline knife. Um, I have not opened this yet. My daughter actually grabbed it from me and was throwing it around the house, so if there's any damage on it, that is where that's from. So this here is the Royal Crest Swiss Army Knife. And I got this primarily because I was curious, okay? And it has a limited lifetime warranty, so you can read that back there. And we have Made in China, all rights reserved, packaged, designed in USA. Hmm, okay. Um, this is wonderful. Oh my God, this is beautiful. So this knife first off cost me $8 with free shipping, okay? It was labeled on the description that it had 420 steel. Let's see if that says that anywhere here. Nowhere, but that's all the tools that come on this. So there you go. And it has a feature that I actually really like, and I feel if done right, Victorinox could also do it. And that is allowing us to have both a Phillips head and a corkscrew. Yes, it would look very weird and odd having this big cutout, but I think it's doable. So really quick, we got the can opener. We have a wonderful tweezer here that is not very flush with the scale and a toothpick that is about the same. We have here our magnificent scissors which I think would cut paper maybe once. We have the cap lifter screwdriver, no wire stripper. Then we have, I guess, an attempted fish scaler. Actually has some good snap on that middle tool. And then we have the saw, I think. I mean, I, I think that's a saw. It has rounded edges. So, okay. Another fish scaler then. Then we have our main blade. Stainless china. It actually is sharp. Let me see if it will cut this paper that I have in here. That actually was me, so just give me a second here. Rough, <clears throat> but it does cut. So it did come sharp, kind of impressive. Quite a bit of play. Nice spring there. The corkscrew is fantastic. Um, let's see if this, a lot stronger than my dollar store Swiss Army knife that I bought years ago. Not even years ago, months ago, actually. I guess this is the reamer. Uh, um, how am I supposed to get to the, uh, okay. That nail nick is completely covered by the other one but this is supposed to be a nail file Let's see if that even works um poorly <laughs> um very good back springs here though this is very reactive i'm so very surprised okay this is our reamer so i have no idea what what that is um, then we have our small Phillips, which I think would work. So that is the Royal Crest, and I'm going to do a comparison of this versus a Swiss Army knife, and it will be just standard tests, cutting, using the tools, and seeing if it will open a bottle of wine, if the screw, uh, the Phillips screw will work, if the reamer will work. If the saw will work, which I don't think it will. Um, 
the scissors. Let me get that paper out again. All right, they actually work. Well, I'm a little surprised, but that there is the Royal Crest Swiss Army Knife. I will have some fun making that video. So you can look forward to that in the future. Till the next one, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.